Thanks for joining me for this unfortunate thing that we need to talk about, but we're going to be talking about the facts and talking about it from what can we learn as church security folks. This incident just happened a few hours ago, and I want to give you the details that I know of, and I want to give you some uh, things to talk about, some discussion things that we need to discuss with our people, our leaders and maybe even our people at our own churches. This incident occurred 6.22 p.m. Uh, local time, which was Eastern time in Vestavia Hills, Alabama. It was on a Thursday night, just last night, uh, at the time that I'm recording this, at St. Stephen's Episcopal Church. Yeah, the church was hosting a small dinner. I'm not sure of the number of people that were here, it was, uh, that, uh, that were attending at the time. It was called a Boomer's Potluck Dinner. It was running from 5 to 7 p.m., according to the website. Now, an occasional attendee of uh, this incident, a uh, 71-year-old male, he's a, apparently an attend occasional attendee to this church, was at that dinner. I'm also hearing some stuff from reporters that there was some discussion on the police radio after this incident occurred about the police being familiar with this guy and where he lived and those kind of things. So I don't know what that means exactly. You can make your own conclusions from that. Uh, this guy was sitting in the dinner apparently and, and about so 5 to 7 p.m. he got there at some point at 6.22 is when the calls started coming into 911. So somewhere about that time, he produced a handgun and began shooting people. He struck three people. Uh, he killed two, um, an 84 year old male was killed. A 75 year old female was killed as I'm understanding it. And then at the time of this recording, there is an 84 year old female that's still in the hospital being treated from a gunshot wound. And so another attendee, yeah, the facts that I understand it is another attendee to this uh, potluck dinner had to subdue and hold down the shooter until police arrived. So we're just discussing this really quickly, but here's some points. Here's some basic information we can take away. And I want you to have this going into your Sunday meetings and your uh, training discussions, briefing trainings, maybe right before your Saturday morning meetings. Uh, services, your Sunday morning services. So this is a second recent church shooting event where elderly attendees had to subdue the shooter in the last couple of months. The first one that I can think of, and there's been others, but just recently, we're leaving it up to the elderly folks to subdue the shooter. It cost one person their life in that, life in that Southern California shooting incident, as you can recall and look up, certainly. So uh, uh, we want to take note of that, you know, and note once again, the comments from the leaders are, we never expected this to happen here. You know, none of us do. And we want to remember that it's not going to happen here. We've been talking about that kind of stuff for 10 years. And it actually is kind of irritating when we talk about our people. And honestly, I don't expect it to happen in my small town either, in my church. But we got to be prepared for it. That's the big deal. We never expect this stuff to happen here. So, so what is an important, a couple of important takeaway, uh, a couple of important takeaways on this. We need someone armed at our events. You know, if we're going to truly try to stop this stuff before it gets started, we need somebody that's armed and preferably is trained, but somebody that can confront somebody who pulls out a gun and starts shooting. And we don't know the delay, how much delay was there. But if we look at Texas, you know, the end of 2019, the shooting there at Texas, uh, you know, it happened, it just took two seconds uh, to take care of the situation, two to three seconds. It happened very quickly. The security person was on that person and was able to take care of it very, very quickly. So I really think we, we have to, if you're not, discussing some way to protect your church and your people than by by means of having somebody armed there. I, I just think it's an important discussion point and preferably somebody that's trained, has some basic training and is ready to, you know, does some regular shooting, is prepared to take care of uh, the situation should something break out. We just need that there. And, you know, we can talk about locking doors and all that kind of stuff, but watching the parking lot, which I love to talk about that stuff because it's important. But in this case, there's really the major factor is we could, the best thing we could have done is had somebody armed there to maybe save 
maybe save all three of those folks from being shot. Maybe save two of them from being shot. I don't know the exact circumstances, but we have to discuss the topic. And I want to continue to bring up, you all know that I have my certain important points that I'm on. And I want to talk about that it's so important, I think, for us to be looking at this because I think at some point people are going to start suing us. It's going to become families are going to start suing us, become a liability uh, because not everybody is a believer in our church, sympathetic to our church. You've got relatives of these people. And my concern is, and I'm talking to you as security folks, as leaders, that people are going to start thinking about that eventually. And now we become liable for a lawsuit because we didn't do something, not just because of the standard fears where if I have somebody with a gun, what's that going to cause? What issues is that going to cause? You're right on that. We got to look at that. We got to look at training. And these are my opinions. I'm not an attorney. I'm not giving you legal advice. But I do want to say as an attendee to a church, as a security leader, I'm concerned that, you know, at some point people are going to start thinking of suing us because we didn't do something, because we didn't have a plan. So very important. If you need resources, come to the churchsecurityanswerman.com. All kinds of stuff there for you to take a look at. Uh, also, like and subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet, because we're always trying to give you ideas on being safer at church and making your church safer. Uh, very important point that needs to be made for all of us. We need to be reminded of those kind of things. You can also look down in the comments section right here and get some ideas of we've got training, paid training, armed church security, volunteer basic certificate, unarmed basic certificate down below as well in the comment section here on YouTube. So thanks for joining me. And uh, I hope that you have a safe and secure week.